Welcome back everyone to Loving Living Local. Well, making your own power paired with a home battery is a great way to become more self-sufficient during the pandemic. And after this year's fire season, now is the perfect time to go solar. We're here this morning to tell us more about how solar and backup power can help Coloradans be more resilient is Director of Marketing from Freedom Solar Power, Sharon Harder. Good morning to you, Sharon. Good morning, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Well, I'll, I'm gonna be real honest with with this you see more and more solar panels out there and the more you look the more you see them for people watching this morning who don't really know how it works how does solar work it is pretty simple actually so solar is uh, we put panels on the roof and uh, the sunlight converts that 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 into electricity and it feeds your house and so any lights or you know any, anything you're using in your home that, that's electrically powered is uh -huh. uh, fed by the solar panels first and then if you need extra power at night when the panels aren't producing um, then you know you get power from the grid and backup power the a battery a home battery like the tesla power wall can help um, store that power during the day when it's being produced by solar and then when the sun's not shining or if you're using more in that moment then you sure. can keep it on site and use it when you need it and any power that you push back any excess power that you that you produce that uh, you don't use goes back onto the grid and the utility will reimburse you for that basically credit you for any excess power that you produce so it ends up being a pretty yeah. a pretty uh, good financial investment um, you know this year as you as you said with the pandemic everybody's mm -hmm. been home more um, using more electricity and people are looking at home improvements and solar is actually the best home improvement you could make it. Yeah. Um, it's around a long time. Um, the system will last 25 years. Um, sun power, which is wow. the technology that we use, can last 40 years. Um, and that it, that's free power, you know, right? You, uh, for for yeah. kind of the whole time that you use it. I hear all kinds of great things about solar power and why it's such a good change for so many people. How many people in the springs are transitioning to solar? There are a little over a thousand um, households that have solar today, which is a pretty small percentage. So you, you're right, more and more people are discovering the benefits of solar. We're, we're helping about one homeowner a day go solar in, in the springs. Wow. And, okay. um, and that's just growing, really, um, the, the people interested in solar and the demand for it has just uh, really grown you know this year and both in solar and backup power and we are thrilled to be here and uh, helping Springs homeowners go solar. Of course let's talk about price range for somebody wanting to consider transitioning to solar what is that like is it expensive is it something affordable for people? It is a is a, still a strong misconception that solar is too expensive for, for uh -huh. most people. People still think that, but it's actually not. Um, prices have come down dramatically over the last few years, and today, honestly, most people don't even buy it outright. They uh, finance it, similar to you know how you would a car, right? When you buy a new car, and so you can go solar for no money down, right. um, and essentially just trade in your electric bill for a solar loan payment, and then as soon as the loan is over, as soon as the loan is done, then you've got free power, and you're also protected from you know, utility price increases over time. So it's a yeah. good way to like lock in your electricity price and kind of take control, as you said, of your own power and yeah. be more self-sufficient. That makes a lot of sense. So basically, if you do decide to finance it, you're gonna be paying for an electric bill anyway. Exactly. So let that pay for your solar investment and then in the long run, you're not gonna have that bill again. Why should we be thinking about solar, particularly in the winter? I know everyone's thinking about the holidays right now coming uh -huh. up, but um, and, and it's winter seems like a strange time with snow and and you know less sunlight. But solar produces year round. Um, you know your panels will will continue to produce throughout the winter. We install snow guards on every um, on every job that we do, and um, it's a great time if you if you are not using as much electricity right now. This is a great time to build up credits with the utility, okay. right? If you're sending electricity back onto the grid and they're crediting you, you can kind of build up credits to get you get you through to uh, the higher usage months. Got it. Okay, so for somebody interested in learning more or possibly making the transition, what is that process like and what do they need to do? Yeah, it's pretty simple. You just want to reach out. We encourage everyone to reach out to several different um, solar installers. You want to look for somebody that's got a long history that's um, that you know that you trust. You want to ask about the technology because it really does matter. Most people think that you know solar is solar is solar, but in fact, right. there are a lot of differences in the technology and um, sun power, which is the the type of technology that we install, um, is is really far and away different different than than others. And I've got a little sample too. I can I can show you. Okay. Um, this is kind of what the sun power cells look like. Got it. 
okay. um, very sleek, very um, aesthetically pleasing versus, you know, kind of the traditional conventional cells, but they also produce a lot more power for a okay. longer period of time. So you want to make sure you know what you're buying, right? It's a big investment and Absolutely. you want to make sure that you, you can trust what's going on your roof is going to continue to produce for the long term. So you want to ask about the technology, the warranties, mm -hmm. and make sure you find a, an installer as a partner that you can trust. I love it. Well, the more and more I get out there, I hear it all the time. Solar is the way to go. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. And Thanks if you would me. like more information, head to freedomsolarpower.com for more. And this segment has been sponsored by Freedom Solar Power this morning. All right. Well, coming up after the break on Loving Living Local, Dee is back with today's delightful